Hey, how's it going? And today I'm just doing a short little video about the future of Lightwave and just speculating what VizRT might do with it. If you don't know, VizRT is the company that the VizRT, I want to say VizRT, but it's VizRT, I think, group acquired NewTek in uh, April 2019. And as a part of that acquisition, New Tech, if you actually go to their website and look at the products, you'll see Lightwave, but it's, you know, it's really right over here. <laughs> like the very last thing on the list, practically. So obviously New Tech is much bigger than, than Lightwave itself. You know, there's a whole bunch of history backstory that I don't know anything about, really. But I just wanted to offer my take on where BizRT might be taking Lightwave because that does relate to the future of Lightwave. And honestly, I just made a video not long ago about reasons to be hopeful about Lightwaves. I was most fascinated by this statement that VizRT made, but it says, it has been more than a year and a half since new tech was purchased by VizRT, and it's important that we give you an update on how this impacts Lightwave 3D. I agree. When we completed this transition, we chose to continue to show our dedication to Lightwave by leaving the Lightwave 2020 plans entirely unchanged and release the latest version of Lightwave on time and continue to patch and improve it since then. You know, the funny thing about that is I don't think anybody knew what the schedule was. Indeed, the latest release was just over a month ago and that was in summer 2020. God bless. And then this starts getting a little gobbledygook to me, but as a part of building a robust and scalable foundation, for the VizRT Viz group so that we can make out software defined visual story solutions better, more accessible and innovative. We have chosen at this point to start integrating our 3D team into our global VizRT group product development team. This will allow us to share best practices, innovation, technology across the, our entire portfolio. This is a normal part of acquisition, of any acquisition process. And the only surprising thing is that we waited so long or this long. Okay, that sounds vaguely reassuring, like, hey, don't worry, you're mining resources, there's nothing nothing going on. And then this next statement is, is entirely positive. Lightwave 2020 remains the best version of Lightwave 3D that has ever existed, and we have every intent to continue to keep it available and support it. So I think this part is kind of keep it available. You know, that kind of sounds a little worrisome in a way, doesn't it? I guess you know, to say that you're going to keep something available. It'd be like, hey, are you going to be getting rid of your car? No, 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 I'm not getting rid of it, but it, oh, I'm keeping it available. I'm keeping it available. It just sounds a little funny. And support it, which, what does that mean exactly? Does that mean supporting? Does that mean continue to patches, uh, bug fixes? I don't know. It's kind of general. But here comes some questions, and I think these questions are, are really an interesting. Question. What have we done recently with Lightwave 3D? We have integrated Lightwave 3D into VizRT's group central product development function to bring it in line with its sister products from the VizRT and NDI and NewTek brands. So that's kind of nice because it's sister products. That means Lightwave is part of the family, hopefully. This will allow us to optimize R&D resource uh, usage, innovation, and technology sharing across the group, ultimately improving customer experience. Well, that all sounds good. Now, here's an interesting question. Are we delisting Lightwave 3D? Now, who, why would someone ask that question? You know, everything sounds positive up to here. And the question is, are we delisting it? Well, delisting means you're not going to be selling it anymore, right? You're taking it off your list, right? You're delisting it. That's like something you do to a stock, you know, you delist it. So it's an interesting word that they say delisting. Are we delisting Lightway 3D? And the, and the question is, why would anybody even ask that question? Is there concerns about it? And it says, and the answer, and here's the answer, no. Are we going to stop selling Lightway 3D? In other words, the answer, at least as of uh, September 8th, is no. No, we are not going to stop selling it. We continue to sell and support Lightwave 3D and related add-ons and then see lightwave3d.com. So the answer to that, are you going to stop selling it? No. Okay, that sounds reassuring. Now here's where it gets kind of murky. I guess you could look at it and say, will development continue on this product? Now why would you ask that question? You've already said you're not going to stop selling it. Are you going to continue to develop it? The answer to this, rather than reading all this, but I will read it anyway, the answer to that is no comment. <laughs> so we have just released Lightwave 3D 2020, true, which has been well received by the market and our immediate focus is on supporting the adoption of this latest version. So 
as a company, and like most companies, we do not talk about our development and future plans for our products. Is that really a true statement? Is that, do most companies not talk about what their plans for software is? I don't know how true that is. That's a yes or no question, right? Will development continue? There's no yes or no here. It's just saying we have released. So you could say, in essence, to me, this is kind of mysterious here. Why not just say yes? You know, yes, we will. No, we won't. I think they're hedging here on this uh, question. So I could see why this might create what I call chatter. And when I think of chatter, I think of this scene from Tron Legacy. So I'm just going to show up part of this because I think it's funny. <laughs> but there's something else too, isn't there? I've heard the chatter about this private initiative. I realize that our alliance is at times uneasy, but always necessary. You know you need me right where I am. Clue? Of course you're right. Enjoy the drink. So anyway, he's heard the chatter. So there is some chatter going on. And I can see why, because this is a simple yes or no question and it's not answered simply yes or no. Will we still support our customers and channels that own Lightwave 3D? Yes. We know that Lightwave 3D is integral to many of our customers' creative workflows. So that's reassuring. And then what is on the roadmap for this product? And again, no comment. We do not talk of such things. So you can see how they answer some questions yes and no very clearly. Other yes and no questions, they kind of hedge around it and don't really answer it. So unfortunately, this creates chatter. And so what I want to talk about right now is what could VizArt possibly do with Lightwave 3D? To answer that, I have some notes here. In my view, there's three possible scenarios. The first scenario is what I would call the worst case scenario, or you can call it a murder in the night. And this is VizRT pulls the plug completely on Lightwave and stops selling it. It gathers up all the source code for the program and throws it in a pit of fire. I'm, I'm exaggerating there, but essentially that would be the worst case scenario. They just say, you know, we're not going to, you're not going to sell this program anymore. We don't want anything to do with it. Shut the whole thing down and that's it. That would be the worst case scenario. Based on what they've said in their statements, I don't think that this is likely to happen. Even if I were to imagine that the worst case were to happen, there's a couple things that, that I'd like to mention about that. You know, when you're talking about Lightwave 3D, my what I think of immediately is I think, well, you know, the program is 30 years old. You know, how many software programs made it from 1990 to 2020? And so Lightwave 3D really is a part of 3D history. In another sense also, Lightwave can never be killed because everybody owns their own individual copy of it and you can still use it for whatever you want. I mean, how many people in 2020 are still using Lightwave 2015? The other thing that's really, really interesting is that Lightwave had a major rewrite in 2018. I mean, the entire rendering engine. So you wouldn't think that something that had that much resources put into it would be discarded so easily. And I think when you factor everything in about Lightwave 3D and its set of users and its forum, it really does deserve continued support and development. And so it is interesting that VizRT has kind of skipped around that, answering that question directly. Back to the scenarios. The worst case scenario, a murder in the night, would be VizRT simply says, we're done with the software as of this date. We're no longer going to sell it. We're not going to develop it, support it, keep your copies, and that's it. I think that's very unlikely to happen. The mid-case scenario is what I call languishment. Languishment really is VizRT continues to sell the program and provide customers support, but stops further development and stops fixing any bugs. No more patches. This is what I would call the Sony Vegas Pro phenomena because that's exactly what happened with Sony Vegas Pro. Sony Vegas Pro, Sony owned it. It was a video editing program. The last version Sony had was version 13 but they just stopped developing it. They didn't fix any bugs and it just sat on the vine for like three or four years. And then in 2014, I believe a company called Magix purchased it and started rewriting it and upgrading and improving it. And now I think Magix is on version 18. Unfortunately, I think this mid case scenario is very possible for Lightwave. 
I think it's possible that if you read the statement that VizRT makes, that it's saying they're going to make it available, they're going to support it, but they sidestep around the question of if they'll continue to develop it, that kind of lends credence to perhaps the mid-case scenario, which is what I call languishment or the Sony Vegas Pro phenomenon. Another last scenario, the best case scenario, and what's funny about this, this is actually what has been happening this past year, is that VizRT continues to happily develop and support the program or sells it to someone who will. And uh, I think if they do do that, whoever owns Lightwave needs to figure out a way to get the program into the hands of more users and make everything sustainable for the long term. There's a lot of ideas of how you could do that, get it into the hands of more users and provide more education getting the program into schools and stuff like that. But there's definitely a place for Lightwave. I think the best case scenario is possible. I don't know. It's hard to tell because VizRT did not answer the question directly. Unfortunately, I can see why there is some chatter. Do I think Lightwave is dead? No. And do I think VizRT is going to kill it? No, I don't. I think that more than likely, They'll just hold on to it and they'll just stop putting resources into it and eventually at some point sell it if a buyer can come along and match whatever they're asking for. It. That's really what I think is the most likely scenario. In the meantime, I would like to see VizRT continue to fix the bugs and patches and do what they can to continue improving it because at the end of the day, it is a good program. I know that I enjoy the program and I'm on the record as saying that this is not to put down any other 3D programs. It's just strictly a question of preference for me. I just enjoy using the program. So I don't think there's any reason to stop using the program. I don't think this is any reason to jump ship. I don't think this is unusual. It's not unheard of this kind of thing happening. The good news is that VizRT, if they're to be taken at their word, will continue to at least make the program available and support it, whatever that kind of means. So for the meantime, for at least for now, we're okay. We've got a, a program that's usable, workable. There's nothing really wrong with it. There may be some bugs, fairly stable and usable. Please feel free to leave a comment or say what you think about it. But I think there's still every reason to be hopeful for Lightwave for the future. And I am just one of the diehard users that's probably not going to jump ship on it. Okay. Well, anyway, thank you very much. Have a great day and I'll talk to you later.